Hello everyone. Well, after a, a month of nearly nothing but cloud, we've finally been blessed with a third clear night in a row, would you believe it? So yeah, you guessed it, I am out again tonight. I'm starting to feel a little tired though with the lack of sleep. Is it worth it? Um, yeah, I think it is. In my book it is. Um, and I think sleep's overrated anyway, apparently. Truth be told, I'm actually running on autopilot. I'm absolutely shattered. Well, tonight I am ditching my ESI 533 and my ZS61, and I'm gonna be using my good old DSLR and Repcat 51. But first, I have to swap them over because uh, the Repcat and the DSLR is sitting on my other rig. So you're welcome to join me for another glorious night of astrophotography, capturing the Pelican and North American Nebula. But first, I think I better crack on. Well, it's been an absolute scorch of the day, really warm, about 28, 29 degrees Celsius. But not warm, I actually put a pair of shorts on, which never happens. Like I mentioned, I'm not going to be using my 533MC Pro, I'm going to be using my DSLR, the Canon 77D. There's a couple of reasons for this. First of all, I want to utilise the great field of view that this setup has to offer with the DSLR and the Red Cat. Just something I'm not going to achieve with the 533. Secondly, this is the third night in a row I've been filming and I wanted to do a bit of processing, put a few bit of the footage together that I've gathered over the last couple of nights and I just didn't want to run the risk of running Nina and some uh, processing software. I think it's destined to go wrong if I, if I ended up doing that. I don't really want to tempt a fear, shall we say. So the filter I'm going to be using tonight is my quad band filter from Skytech and it's sitting in the uh, body of my 77D and everything is going to be hitching a ride tonight on my EQ6R Pro mount. So like I've mentioned the uh, tags of choice for this evening, first of all the Pelican Nebula has a designation of IC5070 and the North American Nebula has a designation of NGC7000 and they can be found in the Constellation Cygnus very close to the bright star Deneb and it's uh, roughly about 1600 light years away from Earth. Anyway, I've got a few things that I need to crack on with. I'm fully set up, um, have for the most part though. So I suppose I'll talk to you once the sun's gone down and it's dark and I'm, uh, I'm well underway. So now um, it's going really well. The exposures look nice. I'm really happy with them. I've gone for five minute exposures, um, which is perfectly fine. It unguided um, on this mount. Um, the mount is uh, quite tight on uh, on its track, and uh, as long as your pole alignment is is fine. I said it in previous videos. I'm, I'm really happy with this mount. Oh, it's absolutely awesome. Uh, I'm going with the ISO 800 and it's pretty much typical with the DSLR 
in this location uh, with the bottle class that I'm in which is a uh, five borderline six um, but it's quite close to the town centre anyway but I've, I've found over the last few years it's uh, ISO 800 usually does the trick of course that depends on what deep sky object you're photographing as well um, it can change and obviously moon state is a big factor as well um, so what I'm going to do is I'll uh, take you through one of the exposures that I've taken um, and you'll see, see for yourself how, um, how good they are so hopefully you can see this, I've just had to get the tripod on the right weird angle here to, so I can get the view screen on where the mount, mount is slewed, the camera is right up next to the plant pot on the wall so yeah it's a little awkward so I'll just point out, so over here is the Pelican Nebula and this is the North American Nebula and just here it's a Cygnus wall and I've underestimated how big this target is. Uh, looking back here, I'm, I'm really glad I picked the red cat and the DSLR to image this tonight. It, I knew it was a big target, but my, it is a quite nice fit. So I'm glad, I'm glad I picked, picked these uh, two bits of equipment. I'm blown away with these exposures, absolutely amazing. And you know, hopefully, hopefully I should get the very least two hours. If I get more than that, then absolutely bonus. I still can't get over how great them uh, exposures are. Can't wait to see the final image get, get stuck in and see how it turns out. I had a package um, recently delivered from one of my subscribers with a little item of equipment that I'm going to test out. Um, I'm not going to mention who it is as yet. I'll, I'll mention them in a future video when I start using using this uh, kit but yeah, I just want to say thank you very much yeah, no doubt you'll be watching um, and let me just go to show you know there's some truly nice people out there you know um, they'll do anything for people some of the comments that I've had on the channel have been truly humbling and some really really nice comments and while I'm on the subject of being humbled uh, the amount of subscribers I've had so I'm, I think I'm about 160 odd um, at present nearly 170 and may not seem a lot to some people but to me it is a lot and it means a lot it truly does uh, I just want to say thank you very much to everyone who subscribed and um, yeah left a nice comment and a helpful comment and, and uh, liked any of my videos so um, what I'm going to do now I'm going to let my rig do its thing and get some more exposure time and it's quite a warm night so I'm going to just kick back in the chair and enjoy the I would say dark sky but it's not that dark but nevertheless I'm going to sit back and uh, enjoy it I think so I um, hope you've enjoyed the video and hopefully I uh, well, should have a nice image to share with you all at the end uh, going off them exposures um, yeah I can't can't wait to see how it all comes together and a great ending to a uh, third night in a row of astro photography could there be a fourth um, <laughs> I don't know if I dare I have lost a lot of sleep anyway on that note Please take care everyone, please guys, and goodbye for now.